Yes, grade five. How are you? Welcome to our lesson today. My name is Teacher Eric. And before we look at our lesson today, we shall quickly try to do correction to the previous work, the work that we did last time. And we actually learned about the British occupation in uh, Somaliland. And we also looked at a number of things. So question number one that I gave you to try was in which year did the British come to occupy Somaliland? And your answer should be well written that the British came to occupy or the British occupied Somaliland in the year 1884. Number two, name the two empires or kingdoms actually that ruled Somaliland before the British came. I think most of you know the answers that one is Ottoman Empire. Ottoman Empire, if you can remember very well, uh, the other name for Ottoman Empire was uh, the Turkish Empire, you know that. Uh, then um, second answer was Egyptian Empire. So there were two empires, one Ottoman Empire and two uh, uh, Egyptian Empire. Ottoman Empire was also known as Turkish Empire they ruled Somaliland before the British came. List two reasons why the British came to Somaliland from Yemen. And remember we said that the British were in Yemen and they crossed the Gulf of Aden and came to Somaliland. The reason is why. So A is they came to look for firewood and meat for their army firewood is used in cooking or in burning charcoal so they came to look for firewood and meat for their army or soldiers they also wanted Somaliland to be the bridge to the Horn of Africa where they could cross and come to the Horn of Africa without any problem number four name two agreements made between the British and the local leaders in 1884. So when the British came in 1884, they made agreements, they signed agreements with the local leaders, the sultans, the chiefs, the village elders. So among the agreements, you are supposed to write two. There are many, yes, but we only were supposed to write two in this exercise. The first one, A, no British woman would give birth on Somaliland territory. Somaliland territory. The British would not take away any part of Somaliland. Those were the agreement. Number five, in which year did the British make the border between Somaliland and Djibouti? We saw the British made borders between Somalia and Somaliland, Somalia and Djibouti, and they also took part of um, Somaliland to Ethiopia. So in which year did they make the border between Somaliland and Djibouti? It was in the year 1887. Final question. Um, in which year did Somaliland get independence from the British? rule in which year i think most of you uh, must have gotten the answer right uh, you may have gotten the answer right 26th of june 1960 that is when we celebrate in somaliland the first independence now um today's lesson we are looking at resistance against the british rule resistance against the British rule. The first question that we can ask ourselves or I think this is even the question you're asking yourself 
uh, there at home what is the meaning of resistance resistance means to fight against or to refuse to accept when you are told for example even in class that go and help to clean the board and you refuse you don't accept that means you resist that's the resistance when you are told um, not to make noise and you continue making noise that means you are actually doing what you call resistance you don't want to follow you don't want to accept okay the teacher asks you to sit down and you resist so resistance comes from the word resist the people of Somaliland also started to fight against the British rule they were opposed to colonization they were being ruled by force so they didn't want and therefore they did not accept they did not like they had to fight back they had to fight so they were opposed to colonization Somaliland leaders who opposed the British rule started to prepare their army the people did not like the rule by the British but we had some leaders who had to come and organize them put people together talk to them and organize army soldiers who can fight the British and these leaders were well respected we know some of them we've had some of them these leaders included the following people two of them said Mohammed Abdullah Hassan Sheikh Bashir Farah Omar these leaders helped in the fight against the British rule they mobilized people they put people together they gave people some hope they talked to people and asked them no do not allow British to rule you do not allow these white people to come and take our animals to come and take our lands no so these leaders were well respected people listened to them and therefore war started they organized their army and war started in the year 1900 and continued up to 1921 and so at the end of the lesson if you are asked to list at least at least three people three leaders who helped to fight the British rule in Somaliland you should be able to name them Sheikh Bashir Farah Omar and Said Muhammad Abdullah Hassan um, so the major confrontation or the major war took place in the regions of Togder and Sanag region the military camps of the Somaliland army of fighters were destroyed by the British warplanes in 1921 and it means that the British had a lot of power a lot of uh, uh, big and powerful weapons and they even had the warplanes the jets so the warplanes came and destroyed the army the, play, the army barracks and the army camps where the army of the Somaliland used to live so Said, Said Muhammad was forced to flee to flee uh, actually means to run away because his army base and where the army used to live had been destroyed as some of their people had been killed so he had to run away because they were looking for him Farah Omar also told people not to pay tax to the British you know the British could come to every house and collect money collect tax you have to pay money sometimes if you don't pay they could punish you they could arrest you they could jail you so people used to pay money to the British every day or every week or every month and this annoyed the British because Farah Omar told them hey don't pay any money to the British the British got annoyed and they arrested 
Farah Omar. They took him to prison where he later died. So bad. Farah Omar Secondary School in Hargeza. You must have gone towards the state house. Um, was built in honor to honor actually the freedom fighter who died while fighting for the rights of his people. So in actual sense what we have learned today in our lesson is basically how the people of Somaliland decided to fight back the British rule and they could not fight back alone. They had to have leaders. These three major leaders that we have looked at they really helped. They played an important role, an important duty to ensure that Somaliland gets independence, gets freedom. These three people are Said Mohammed Abdullah Hassan, we had Sheikh Bashir and Farah Omar. And they actually helped Somaliland to get independence. We said that also uh, that there was a major confrontation there was war and this war was held in two places the first place was Togder region and Sanag region and you remember this uh, among the six regions of Somaliland uh, Togder and Sanag are two uh, regions uh, among the regions of the six regions of Somaliland so this is what happened and until then, when those leaders were arrested, everybody had now gotten the motivation to fight for their freedom. That is when now, later on, the British gave the people of Somaliland independence. There are some few questions that I would want you to pause the video and look at. In the first place, you're going to copy all the notes, then attempt the assignment there are only three questions the first question as you can see name three leaders who helped to fight for independence in somaliland then number two which leader was arrested then died while in prison when did the war against the british rule begin in somaliland so you are going to look at uh, those questions and attempt them then we shall look at the correction next time in our next lesson Thank you for listening. Bye. Have a nice time and take care of yourselves. Bye. See you.